Hi, welcome to Money Mondays. We're going to be talking today about the unemployment and different states that are cutting back and some that are even stopping. We'll be talking about the stimulus package, the possibility of another one before the end of the year, as well as the plan from Economic Policy Institute's Director of Research um, and what he says what can help the country with the economic plan in the order to not go into a recession, but also long-term plans. And then finally, we're going to look at some financial aid and ways that we can actually make money, pay bills right now. Stick around because I'm going to show you how, depending on where you live, you may be able to get some money to help with some backlog on your rent that you had. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Tyler from The Rideshare Guy. Let's take a look at the unemployment on this Money Monday. First, let's take a trip to Louisiana where there's some issues going on. Last week we mentioned some fake claims that were being made. Louisiana has even more so this month, let's, this week. Let's take a look at this screenshot. What's happening in Louisiana is that people are actually receiving letters in the mail, sometimes with cards already loaded with cash money on them in names that are not theirs. So people are receiving these cards, they're receiving basically free money that is for unemployment but they're not necessarily unemployed and it's people who they don't even recognize the name of who it is so a lot of people have obviously reported this unfortunately it's a huge issue that's going across the entire country not just louisiana but we found this here it mentioned here that they they're working and they've already stopped 160,000 bogus claims since the coronavirus pandemic started but there's been an unexpected spike in the last few weeks so something to look at with this unemployment. I know a lot of us may be having difficulty getting it, um, but this is part of the reason is because of all of the false claims trying to get unemployment falsely. Next, we have a good news, bad news situations for those that live in Kentucky. So the good news is that the unemployment rate has dropped. It dropped under 5%, which is now 4.67%, which sounds great in theory. But those 467 that are still unemployed, because of the way that the stimulus package works, when a state's um, unemployment goes below 5%, they get cut off. So even though they were expecting to get unemployment all the way through till December 26, they're being cut off this weekend. In fact, they would have already been cut off. They should have already received a message letting them know that their unemployment benefits are no more. So if you live in Kentucky, again, good news that the unemployment rate's so low, but bad that we, unfortunately, those who do need it aren't gonna be able to get the same amount that they've been getting. And finally, as the year ends, a lot of the programs that have been in place to help people pay for their bills, expenses, uh, are going to be coming to an end. So let's take a look at this screenshot and kind of look at the different things that are going to be ending in December. So first is the Paycheck Protection Program, which is a small business lending effort that was helped, uh, helped a lot of small businesses to get money that they don't have to pay back as long as they're using it for the correct things, um, payroll, things like that. Next is the child care funding under the CARES Act. So a lot of effort has been done to help with child care. People need to continue to work to pay their bills, but they can't work and make sure that their kids are being taken care of as well. So it, it has been helping with that. That's going away in December. Also, if you have any student loans, the student loan forbearance program, that ends as of December 31st. So. Up until now, you've had no payment due and no interest accruing, which has been awesome. But that, as of December 31st, also is going away. And another thing not mentioned on this list is the um, act to not allow companies or, or landlords to evict their tenants. So that, as December 31st, is going to be done away with. And so people on January 1st, in theory, could be evicted, which is the worst possible time that this could happen because unemployment, as we've already mentioned, is also ending December 26. So not only do these people not have jobs, some of uh, a lot of them, especially if they're collecting unemployment, but they, if their job was reduced, they couldn't get unemployment and they haven't been able to pay their rent, then they may uh, have some other issues as well. But again, stay till the end. I'm going to show you um, some ways that you'll be able to help pay that if that is a situation that you're in. Next, let's take a look at the stimulus package. So 
there's a lot of talk right now about the next stimulus package when it's going to come so first off it's important to note that right now in order for them to get any type of stimulus package done before the end of this year the cutoff date that it would have to be in and done by is december 11th so just a few weeks away so we're going to be keeping an eye on that we'll keep you appraised as it happens to see what happens what's going on and that way you guys know what you need to do to benefit from it but Keep in mind that that's not, it's not guaranteed. So that's the cutoff date that they would have to have it done by, but doesn't necessarily mean they will have it done by that time. That's just when they would have to. So we'll keep an eye on it. Of course, we're all looking forward to trying to get that stimulus money as much as possible. It would benefit us. A lot of families around the entire country are definitely struggling right now, and that'll help. But let's take a look at this plan by the Economic Policy Institute's Director of Research, Josh Bevins. So as you see in this screenshot, it says Congress must urgently provide $3 trillion of fiscal relief to stop the economic bleeding and build a strong recovery. So he's planning here. It's a research. Obviously, he, he's got no way to, to make this happen. But essentially, looking back at the previous recession in 2008, um, in fact, it's already been mentioned that the housing could approach the housing conditions especially with that forbearance of the the housing ending in december could approach the same as it was in 2008 or very close to it um and so the thought that uh, josh bivens here of the economic policy institute has brought out is that yes there was aid that was provided at that time but that that aid was simply not enough and that it stopped too soon and too abruptly and so he's created a plan that will essentially give a jump start to everything, but also allow it to continue to increase so the the economy can grow steadily and be able to take care of itself by 2024 and then slowly take all of the stimulus packages and different things away at that time. So this is something that, you know, he's an economist, he's looking at this stuff, and this is how he's saying it would benefit. So Essentially, you would receive a large amount of money, businesses would receive a large amount of money, and then a smaller amount throughout the next four years in order to make sure that they're able to be solvent, make sure that they're able to pay their bills, make sure that you're able to pay your bills so that everyone can continue to help grow the economy. So that's this plan that would be put in place. It would be $3 billion, and that's not including things such as um, the vaccinations or anything to do with COVID. It has nothing to do with the actual distribution of COVID, testing or any of that. That's just money to help stimulate the economy. So that would be even more billions of dollars. We're not sure how much, but more money in order to cover that expense as well. Now, finally, what about those who are going through some sort of economic problem right now? So we're going to talk about three ways that you can actually make some money right now that would enable you to pay your bills. So first, we're going to look at people who are having difficulty covering their rent. So this is specific to the San Diego County in California. So there is a program, we're going to put a screenshot up, that residents who have been um, impacted uh, economically are able to qualify for assistance up to $3,000 to pay past due or upcoming rent. So the information's there, but I'm going to give you the website, www.sdhcd.org. Um, we'll have that um, on the, the screen right now. You can see it. But if you do live in San Diego County, um, it may be something that you'd be able to help, that would be able to help you, especially if you've been going through a hard time and you haven't been able to pay rent, especially with January coming where you're no longer going to be in forbearance, you're going to have to pay or they'll be able to evict you. The second thing we're going to look at is the Rakuten. Now, we've had videos on this in the past in the Rideshare Guy. Uh, me, myself, I'm going to show you a screenshot right now. I've made over $200 using this pro program and service um, throughout the years. We've been able to use it, my wife and I, whenever we purchase things. Um, it, it depends on how much you purchase is the more you make, obviously, but you make a little bit of money, and that's money you we're going to spend anyway. So it's it's basically free money that you get, so it's a great way to make some extra money. Now, in addition to saving money from it and getting that money back, Right now, Rakuten, they also have a referral program, and it's usually about $25 per referral. Right now, as the date of this recording, it's $40 per referral. So every time you refer someone, you're going to make $40. 
It's even better than that though, because they're also gonna get $40. So make sure that you sign up now, send that to everyone you know so that they can get a purchase. They, they will have to do a qualifying purchase um, pretty quickly in order for you guys to get it, but that's one way you can make a little bit of extra money. And finally, it was mentioned last week, and we have a whole video just on this, is the employee retention credit. Um, I actually have a um, call set up to find out if I qualify for it. Um, actually, the day that this recording goes out is gonna be the day I have that call. So next week, I'll uh, get you up to date to let you know um, what we're doing and if we qualified and have the process on how you too can get qualified. But again, we've already had a video on it that went through that process and, and that. So try to find that out and check it out. So that's our update, our financial money Monday. Um, so, you know, let us know if you liked it, leave a comment, please, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We have new episodes coming out every single day that you'd appreciate. So uh, please subscribe and stay safe out there.